here we are again with the new version of the human power ornithopter and this time I'm going to show some features about how it works so as, see, as we can see from the helmet to my shoulders is also connected with rubber which makes simulating tendons and muscles of the bear as we can see so when I put my shoulder it's all elastic sensation no? not even to this also to my legs as we can see we have also rubber power to my legs so in the moment when it when it takes off my legs should quickly go back right okay both of them they are rubber power so in my abdomen we also have rubber connected to the rest of the exoskeleton so how it works as we can see we are in a complete uh, it's around it's a bubble of rubber so it's like i'm catch on the center this is how the bird flies and about the long wings and short wings as we know already there are birds who has long wings there are much better gliders and like albatross and other kind of birds and there are also short wings birds so it means as much high is the frequency of the wind the, the flapping uh, speed they can fly anyway so as we can see here we have also tendons it closed completely as we can see open the tail and let's make some flapping as we can see the rubber gives me a lot but a lot of extra power in my input it's not so hard but the arm the output with the rubber system is what produces kinetic energy of course the shape of the feathers is not all the same they must close and open anyway I still couldn't adjust the system very well because of the materials they have so I'm supposed to make all this with very with very good materials which I don't have now so I'm going to show a little bit more flapping it can go until up as we can see so they can even crash like a dog you So the secret of human power flight, it is this. This is the, the real device, the machine. This is a natural way, not so much mechanical, like everybody doing with metals. So here we have it. Well, to get a small fly, I will need some rollers. And, and well, a little bit of wind only, and just when it is ready for takeoff, the only thing that we will do with the rollers, we will go in this way, and we will flat when we have the speed enough. So what we can do with it is glide for a while, no? Same like a pickup or something like this, like a chicken. No, it's not to make. It's not ready yet to make high flight but it's already to fly and it lift up human from the floor so it is mean that i am the first one who really take off from the floor with flapping wings and naturally Why? Because the body, it doesn't need to be big wings. As long as they have speed enough and they are really flexible, they will get to the frequency that we need to support us in there. Because as we say, we are all rubber powered 
and this is like a walking in the water, like a walking in the air. This is flying, right? Everybody, we can see many times they show it. There is no trick. I'm really flying. Someone wants to accept it or not, but it is the first one. So, as I explained already, how what is flying and how it flies. So what we only need is the exactly frequency to be in the air. Now I have shown to the whole world that human can take off by flapping its wing. Of course, now we have to improve this machine and this is what I'm hoping from some maybe some company interested in this and want to hire me to be the master and the guy to take all human to fly like a bird well this is all for today uh, maybe next time I will be hanging some rollers and and try to fly a little bit more see you around good luck for everybody